Hello my friend, happy to see you here. Today we have really interesting exponential equation 9 to the x minus 6 to the x equal to 4 to the x and we need to find our x. If you have your answer, you can also write your phone down into the comment section and we will check your answers in the end of the video. So I swear it will be it will be really interesting. So first of all, the first trick is to divide both sides by 4 to the power x. Let's do this right now. Okay, so we have right here 9 to the x, we divide by 4 to the x, okay? The second one, we have minus 6 to the x, we're going to divide by 4 to the x. And we have equal to 4 to the x, we're going to divide by 4 to the x. It changed nothing because we divide all of this part by 4 to the power x. Right now, we can easily cancel this 4 to the x and 4 to the x. As a result, on the right side, we have only 1, which is, which is really great. So let's write our first step. But before writing our first step, we're going to remember, we're going to learn a really great property if we have a to the n divided by b to the n this is equal to a over b to the power n. So saying in other words, if we have like different bases but same power, we can also write it in one in one parenthesis. And we can apply this rule right here and right here, okay? So we have different bases but same power, so we can easily take it in one in one parenthesis. Let's do this right now. So we have right here 9 over 4 to the power x minus 6 over 4 to the power x, yeah, and equal to equal to 1 really great equal to equal to one right now a lot of students are trying to cancel this nine over four but if you look closely at this nine equal to three square and this four equal to two square so it's really great let's do the thing right now let's uh, not like cancel let's, let's not divide nine by four let's write this nine as three square and this four as two square and raised to the power x minus 6 divided by 4. We can easily cancel by 2. As a result, right here in the numerator we have we have 2. And in our numerator we have we have 3. So to the power to the power x equal to 1. So I hope you I hope you understand this step. Right now, let's use this this property right here. We have 3 to the second power and 2 to the second power. So we have different bases, but same power. We can easily rate this 3 half to the second power. Okay, let's do the thing right now. So we have right here parentheses parentheses 3 half to the second power and we still have x right here okay minus 3 half to the power x equal to equal to 1 right now we need to know we need to remember a really great property if we have a to the power m raised to the power n because of this property when we have a product we can write it as a to the power m times n but in the same way we can write it as a to the power n raised to the power n so saying in other words we can easily swap these powers these powers outside and this inside so we can easily swap this two and this x because of this product property we can easily write it as m times n and in the same way we can easily write it as as n times m we change position and we can easily raise this in from another way okay so let's do the thing right now as a result we have we have three half yeah we have three half to the power x right here not two but x we raise this all expression to the second power minus three half to the power x yeah three half to the power x and equal to one right now the key moment to this challenge 3 half to the power x, we can easily call this as t, for example. So let 3 half to the power x, let's call, for example, as t. And t is, t need to be need to be positive, because we are talking about exponential function, and 3 half to the power x doesn't matter. This is like greater than 1, less than 1. Every time this expression on the right side, this constant on the right side, need to be positive. No way, this is in negative, but we need to find a positive value, positive t. So right now, this 3 half to the power x, this is our t, this is also our t. So as a result, we will have quadratic equation, t squared, don't forget about this 2 right here. So we have, we have t squared minus, right here we have only t, and let's bring this one from our right side to left side. So minus 1 equal to equal to zero really great right now let's find our t first t second let's find our roots because this is a very basic quadratic equation from here our a equal to one b equal to minus one and c equal to equal to minus one really great right now let's plug in each of these each of these elements into our for example discriminant formula let's find first of all our discriminant so we have b square minus four a for AC. Let's plug in these elements into this spot. So we have minus 1 square b square minus 4 times 1 and times we have right here minus 1. 
we change the sign because we have minus minus 4 which is equal to 1 minus minus 4 and this result 1 plus 4 which is equal to which is equal to 5. So as a result our discriminant is positive so we are talking about two real number roots which is which is really great. Let's plug in this uh, discriminant into our final formula so t first and t second equal to we have right here minus b plus minus square root of discriminant and all over we have we have 2a. Let's plug in right here so we have right here minus b we have minus minus 1 we have plus minus square root of discriminant square root of 5 and all over all over 2 as a result this minus this minus is equal to plus so we have 1 plus minus square root of 5 over over 2 these are the two two roots but these are two roots according to according to t don't forget about substitution because in the beginning we had a substitution that our 3 half to the power x equal to t uh, we are talking about two two roots t first and t second so we will have like two two cases so let's write our final parts to this to this question as a result our t first equal to one plus square root of five over two and t second equal to one minus square root of five over two this is a very tricky moment right here because a lot of students forget about this moment that t need to be positive we wrote it before that's that exponential function all the time is positive all the time mm, has the positive values on the right side okay so right now one minus square root of five let's let's make an assumption what is the th what is the sign of this numerator basically square root of five is greater than square root of four so square root of five is greater than square root of four but square root of four equal to equal to two so we are talking about one minus expression which is greater than two which implies that our numerator is negative and our denominator is positive but in the same way ne minus divided by plus equal to equal to equal to minus so we are talking about a negative t right here we will find complex root but not real number roots so this is like your homework you can easily uh, solve equation with this t second and you will find complex root because exponential function there is no way that we will have like a positive value on the right side so we reject so t second is rejected 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 but right here we will have complex root so we reject it in terms of real number roots if you're interested you can easily solve this challenge according to complex number root okay and uh, maybe someone don't understand why this is like uh, we can't uh, solve this challenge according to t second because when we have three half to the power x when we write that this is equal to t second so one minus square root of five over two as i told before this expression on the right side is negative but exponential function is all the time positive so we are talking about complex roots right here so we reject we reject this this part a t first equal to one plus square root of five positive numerator which is also really great and positive denominator so we are talking about real number root right here so let's solve this let's solve this question right here on the on the left side so we have right here three half three half to the power x equal to this one so we have one plus square root of five over two and right here we have a, a lot of really interesting log properties so the first one is when we need to uh, apply base of uh, log base of three half on both side so we have right here log base of three half on the left side of these expressions of three half to the power x and the same thing with the uh, with the left with the right side so we have log base of three half of this expression one plus square root of five over over two really great but in the same way there's a really great property in terms of in terms of logs because when we have log a bay of base of a we can easily write that this is equal to one but this x will jump will jump right here so as a result we have x times log three half base of three half of three half right here and equal to this one log right here we have base of three half of this expression one plus square root of five over over two okay right here this expression equal to equal to one because this is log a base of a let's write this rule right here so log a base of a equal to equal to one okay so we're gonna apply this rule this rule right here so this is equal to one so we have x equal to log three half base of three half of this expression one plus square root of five 
over 2. This is really great. Right now, let's simplify this a little bit. We can easily simplify this and we need to know, we need to remember a really great property. I'm going to write this property right here on the on the right side. So if we have log C base of B, this is equal to log with the new base, doesn't matter what base you choose, log base of M of A, and we divide all of the thing by log base of uh, M, the same base of, of B. So let's apply this rule right here, right here in our, in our case. As a result, we have X equal to, we have log, log 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 in our numerator, and in our denominator we have log, log 3 half log 3 half and the final step right here we need to know we need to remember a really great also a really great property if we have log a over b so a division we can easily change by subtraction and in the same way addition we can change by multiplication okay so as a result right here we have log a minus log log b so this is our last property we really really need this property right here and we're going to apply this property in our case so we have a fraction so as a result log right here we're going to apply this subtraction part in our numerator and we're, we're going to apply this subtraction part in our denominator because we have the same the same division so as a result let's write our final answer to this question so we have our answer our answer so x equal to equal to log 1 plus square root of 5 minus log 2. Okay, we have minus the second um, element in our denominator, minus log log 2. And the same thing we're going to do inside our um, denominator. So we have log log 3 minus log log 2. And this is our final answer. Let's write this answer right here into this into these brackets this is our this is our final answer maybe someone interested in approximately answer so x equal to x approximately equal to 1 1 1.187 maybe someone interested in approximately answer right now we can easily see a graph to this challenge you can easily see a plot uh, to this challenge you can easily see this point of intersection that we have only one only one solution 1.18 uh, 1.187 and according to logs we have our we have our answer you can easily check it check this answer in your calculator because you can easily find these logs right here you can easily find this constant and as a result right here subtraction right here subtraction so somehow you can you can find this approximate answer but if you trust me you can easily see this uh, this approximation right here so x approximately equal to 1.187 but on your exam this is absolutely enough for you to to solve this challenge because on your exam you don't allow to to use your calculator so this is absolutely enough for you to solve this challenge solve this challenge like that a great question because there are a lot of really interesting properties in the beginning we we find these properties so one property second property uh, the third one maybe we have right here according to according to log exponential functions of so three four we have right here five six seven so seven properties so this is a great practice question for everyone so i suggest you to to like pause the video and uh, for example tomorrow you will solve this challenge once more this is a really great practice question for everyone just trust me seven really interesting really interesting properties really interesting rules really interesting approaches so i hope you i hope you learn something new i really hope you you enjoyed this video i i really hope you learn something new so thank you for your time have a great day also write your response down into the comment section what do you think about this solution what do you think about this approach it will be really interesting to read about it and also thank you for your time have a great day take care of yourself and love mess